The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. The wind swept them away without leaving a trace. Ah, without leaving a trace. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. Then we said that See, Moses told the Israelites before he died he actually wrote this in, and then caused them to sing it so that it will exist with them for, for a long time. Deuteronomy 32, 30 and 31 Let's try and remind us. I like this particular verse. How can one man chase a thousand? Or put two put ten thousand to flight? How can one man of the uncircumcised community? Chase a thousand of Israelites. Or two Gentiles. Put ten thousand Jews to flight. Unless they are rock. And I emphasize on the capital R. Had sold them. Unless the Lord had given them up. So he made us to know that the rock he's talking about is the law. Then verse 31. For the rock if he said one botan, small letter R, one botan, it's not like our rock. And this is a big letter R. And this is a botan. As even our enemies, empire time for concede. Enim, they know. They are rock. It's not like our rock. They say one botan. And this is a botan. Not at all. They know. One munim. They know. One munim. You see, um, when they. Uh, David was extolling the Lord. In 2 Samuel 22, verse 32. He, he blessed the name of the Lord. He lifted him up. 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 The Lord our rock. And the only God. But this is how he put it. 2 Samuel 22, 32. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? Now, look at how you he placed them in questions form. Question it's form. as if he, he didn't know. As if he's asking the whole world. As if we are seeing now. That for who is God besides the law? And who is a rock except our God? Hannah in her song of praise. Hannah will answer this question clearly. First Samuel 2, verse 2. Samuel there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. So David is saying that who is the rock except our God? And Hannah says that there is no rock like our God. And David is asking for who is God besides 
says the Lord. And Hannah says, There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. You see, our rock is the chief cornerstone. You can't do without it. So in the New Testament, they refer to the rock as the chief cornerstone. So sometimes it is said to be a stone. After all, a rock is a big stone. But let's look at how this doctor Describe this story. Luke 20, verse 18. Look at the panel. It is doing what I like this one too. Verse 18. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. So, two things. If you fall on it, you be broken into pieces. But when the stone lifts itself and falls on you, you be crushed. Obiara obehwe obuo ne suo no, obebubu. Na de ebehwe ne suo no, ebepeche no. I like the key. <laughs> I like the ebepeche than crash. Obiara obehwe ebuo ne suo no, ebebubu no. Na de obehwe ebuo ne suo no, ebepeche no. Perfect enemies, there is no way to come back. <laughs> you can't come back. You see, when you fall on the stone, it is a wash about time as well. You'll be broken into pieces. Obabubu. But when the stone lifts itself and falls on you, you'll be crushed. And this is the rock. Their rock is not like our rock. And even our enemies are well aware. You see, this is the very rock that accompanied the Israelites in the wilderness. It is a spiritual rock from which they drank from. And scripture says, that this rock is Christ. He is our foundation. And he is with us. Christ in you. The hope of the, the glory of God. So once he is with us, there's no way we should be afraid. Now, so let's go back to the dream of Nebuchadnezzar. And listening to Daniel's conclusion. Of his interpretation. Daniel 2 verse 44. Daniel 2 verse 44. Daniel 2 verse 44. Now this is how he concluded the interpretation. Daniel 2 44. In the time of those kings. The God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed. Nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end. But it will itself endure forever. It will not need any help. It will by itself endure forever. But what I want to say about this scripture. We don't have to leave this stuff to the end times. And think that it is, it is in the future. It is in the future. But the rock is still with us. The rock is as powerful today as it was then. And it will always be the rock. See, once we lift ourselves up, the enemy's kingdom will be destroyed by this same rock. It has happened in the past. And I pray that it will happen again in our time. It was said that after the Welsh revival, the gambling and the alcohol business 
lost their trade. Mm. And the theaters closed down from lack of patronage. Football during this time was forgotten. By both the players and the fans. Though nothing was said in the pulpit about this. Football was forgotten by the players as well as the fans. Their rock is not like our rock. There's another story of an army officer who was passing through a, a small town in the UK. He desired to get some liquor. He sought and sought to no avail. Finally, he met this old man. Please, where can I get some drink to buy? The old man looked at him and told him, See, young man, some hundred years ago, a certain man came here called John Wesley. Our friend John Wesley. Hundred years ago, if you had a dream, certain man came here. Papa Biba called John Wesley. Our friend with John Wesley. That is the end of the story. And only as after he left, if Okoye, you have not sold liquor in this town. Yen tone in San Ewokada. The greatest need of our generation is a certain kind of a man. A certain kind of a woman. People who carry the gospel, the gospel message, fearlessly, shamelessly, selflessly, as the apostles did. And we will push back the pushbacks. Now, you be peer, they say you peer. We just need men. Because the blood has never lost its power. The blood has never lost its power. You only need certain kind of men. And may the Lord cause you to arise. Sorry. To be that kind of a man. You see, the Machians will not come back. Again. Again. John Wesley's will not come back. John Wesley found in San Billy Graham is there. Billy Graham And God is still looking for men. Who will carry this gospel message? Fearlessly. Shamelessly. Selflessly. Then we will destroy the kingdom of the enemy. But let us go back to Acts chapter 13. When we are discussing about the spreading of the gospel through the kingdom through teaching. We made these two verses but I want us to go back to them. Acts chapter 13 verse 49. As 1349. Uh, and then later on I read 19 verse 20. So 1349. The word of the Lord spread through the whole region. The word of the Lord spread through the whole region. And 19 verse 20. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. The word is growing in power. I like the King James. It says, so mightly grew the word of God and it prevailed. See, but Let's note that. The word of God is not like pulling grains. Which is blown by air. It has to be intentionally carried by men and women. So, so when the Bible is saying that the word of God spread through the region, the word of God cannot just 
be going about spreading. It is a chronic case. Onyamiasem etre was a sinin na anuswa. Mumi anke mu se nyamiasem na kasa anua entu mintre anua. No. There be people who have to carry it. As I said, nipa esuya. And as we move, the word moves with us, and the kingdom moves. Na bra yetu anamo no. Onyamiasem etu ani etu anamo na ahini anu sutu anamo. The need for our generation. Na de yehiya wa yempe nsi. Is men and women who will carry God. Who will carry God. And rightly handle the word of truth. Rightly handle the word of truth. Billy Graham said this. Billy Graham And I want to quote. Now, if you can pay attention to this man, I like his face. He's an inspiration. Such an inspiration. Now, okay, yeah. But you see, these people are there. Now, some of you won't move because up, it's up, it's appointed unto a man who wants to die. If you say only, if you say only, but we back up. But will God get such men again? And so, when you make any sign, you pass it beyond. That is the need of our generation. I know any day in pain, so you hear. He said this. I say each generation faces different. Issues. I want to to us be a award year or share and challenges. And anyhow, but our standard now so yeah yeah so 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 on must always be measured by God's way. I said they be a a yeah 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 same and a a different generation. I want to to us be a faces different issues. What what year or share and challenges. Anyone how, but our standard now so yeah yeah pom pom so on must always be measured. By the word of God. We need men and women. Who will carry God. Who will carry God. And rightly handle the word of truth. We need to take the truth with the kingdom in mind. Don't just be teaching. Teach the truth. With the kingdom in mind. Teach the truth. With the expansion of the kingdom in mind. What then is teaching? Teaching, we have said in person, that is the appeal to the senses. And it takes several forms. I'll come back to the several forms later. But for now, I will attempt to present to you what I think teaching is and what should go into it. Now I will not be tech, be technical here. Now main fan come on But we humbly want us to learn from Paul. Now some person you see a free summa for Paul. How he went about teaching. A quiet of us wa or chrechre. Now from his farewell speech. Wa na kwenja kasamunu. In Acts 20, verse 20, well, as well for humanity, you he emphasized that he taught the flock. Now, so let's read Acts 20, 20. You know that I have not hesitated to, hesitate to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you know that I have not hesitated to hesitate to preach anything that will be helpful to you. Now, I have not hesitated to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. But I have taught you publicly and from house to house. Now, this is his farewell speech to the church in Ephesus. So, we know that he taught. So, when we follow him, we can at least learn from what, how he did it. And that is what I want to do. Without being technical. I'm not going to teach about the, uh, hermeneutics and homiletics, please. I will just teach uh, Bible letters. <laughs> I will just stay in scripture. <laughs> so how did he do it? I would like to take some examples from the book of Acts. Now a couple of scriptures from us. Now, especially Acts chapter 17. From 1 to 5. 
I'll stay in one, two and three. Especially. Now, when Paul and his companions had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a Jewish synagogue. Now, we Amphipoli and Apollonia by Thessalonica. As was his custom, Paul went into the synagogue. And on three Sabbath days, he reasoned with them. From the scripture, explaining and proving that the Messiah had to suffer and rise from the dead. This Jesus I am proclaiming to you is the Messiah, he said. Some of the Jews were persuaded and joined Paul in silence. As did a large number of God-fearing Greeks and a quite few Prominent women. Now let me end it there. But let's go back to two and three. As, his, as was his custom, Paul went into the synagogue and on three Sabbath days he resigned. With them from the scriptures. Explaining and proving that the Messiah had to suffer and rise from the dead. Then let's go to as 19, verse 8. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. As 28, 23. As 28, 23. As 28, 23. They arranged to meet Paul on a certain day and came in even larger numbers to the place where he was staying. He witnessed to them from morning till evening explaining about the kingdom of God and from the law of Moses and from the prophets he tried to persuade them about Jesus let me tell you what I found from these verses you have to go back to 17 2 and 3 and then if you come to 28 verse 23 the word explaining is found in 17 2 and 3 but when you come to 19 verse 8 in my bible there's an introduction of a certain word. Arguing persuasively. So I will think that when it comes to teaching, so far as apostles Paul's approach is, teaching is reasoning with con the congregation from the scripture. Now, reasoning with the congregation. What that means is that there is a mental engagement. Having your audience understanding in mind. Not showing understanding to your audience position. Now, 
the reasoning mean appealing now this means that you are not talking at them reasoning means coherent presentation so reasoning is to as you to, as you speak or as you teach you try to engage them mentally anticipate their questions and be answering them as, as you do their presentation now, number two arguing persuasively so so in teaching there is some arguments you see argument is to present reason for your opinion or reason against the other's stance so provide reason for what you believe and provide reading reason against the other's stance and as you are doing that you are teaching so when I finish all the monies you have, I'll take them so you don't go to any Bible school. <laughs> then number three, explaining. To make clear. To make plain. Render understandable. Intelligible. Intelligible. To assign meaning to, say, would they interpret your mood? Or interpret? And as you say, would you That is explain. And when interpret your mood, teaching is also proving. Interpret your mood. And say, would they advance it? To establish the truth or the genuineness of something. Say, would they assemble no cre esi pronoso? As by evidence. Ah. Now prove with some evidence. Now in teaching you you bring evidence. You have to establish the genuineness of what you are saying. Now I like this one. To give demonstration of by action. And he said, When we say proof. It is a said, What we are saying is that give demonstration of the thing by action. Sometimes in teaching, you don't have to do too much talking. Or any talking at all. You just have to demonstrate by action. As I said, one name. And the yes, so at that be beardy and arguments are settled. Now, a change in your name, are you come? That is why we need miracles. And what in your hair, I want you, man. If you like, ask Elijah, it's what you're up beside Elijah. He thought about the power of God with that blackboard. Yeah, oh, sure. And you're me to me, one for blackboard. We are sure he he thought about the power of God. Oh, sure. When you're me to me, and who is disturbing the nation? Any dear, or her or mine. He did it without any, 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 anything. He he didn't need a chalk. One or yes, sir. When he had Casa Casa, he didn't need a lectern. When he had a pulpit, a pulpit. When he had a sanke bebia, but he demonstrated it by action. And so on the day he so had died, and all those who attend the abbas against God, they returned. Now when I know I done with you, I'm on your mind now. Sign by. And to me, this is teaching. Now we media me find say a yentre. Proving by action. Say when I'm on the day so had died, dance here. In the book of Acts, chapter well, as eight, from verse nine. From verse nine, I'll just read this and then we'll put a comma and continue next week. Making can we now mediate you answer? Now, for some time, a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city. Now, obare maybe our this Simon. And amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was 
someone great and all the people both high and low gave him the attention and exclaimed this man is rightly called the great power of God if he are calling you like that I think you have to be throwing your your, your your hands about. They followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. The next word there that begins the verse 12 is but. When they believed Philip as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Simon himself, or Simon himself, believed and was baptized and he followed Philip everywhere now the word is that astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw this man called the great power of God now he, he, was, he, he was mesmerizing them now a man called with some magic. He had some rock. But when Philip arrived, his rock was not like his rock. And then by the miracles God performed through Philip, this man lifted the hands. I also want to be baptized. And he will not just be baptized. He kept following them. Scripture says that Naturally say he was astonished at the miracles they were performing. Now, the whole town turned after God because of the demonstration of the power. Brothers, this too is teaching. Sometimes words are not adequate to explain. But let God come through with one miracle and it is worth tons of preaching. Let's desire to teach but let us pray and also desire miracles lay hands on the sick pray that God will heal them let us confront darkness forces of darkness and sometimes the victory that God will chalk will settle all kinds of arguments I pray this evening or this morning, wherever you and are, no pay, baby, I or be this a... afternoon, wherever and you may say, be you on the poor, planet, baby, I, 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 I. that we desire teaching. Say, yeah, come do say a better, better. We desire teaching. Yeah, come do say a better, better. But the greatest need now, so the, here, of say, our generation, are certain men and, and women who will place the John Wesleys and the Mackeys. And I pray that you be that fellow. In the name of Jesus. That you be that fellow. And I want your spirit to say yes to this one. We need a revival in this world. And it must start from you. It must start from me. Let your soul tonight say yes. I pray that your soul will say yes to the Lord. Shall we rise and begin to pray? Shall we rise and begin to pray? Shall we rise and begin to pray?